Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a short video on what you guys should be collecting or what you should be gathering to make some quick money on the trading post. So, a lot of people have been asking recently, like I said, how do you make gold very, very quickly? I've made some videos in the past, right? So Azoth Water was one of them. Let's see where Azoth Water is now. Continuing to see the price kind of tank. You know, we're seeing $3.23 for each piece of Azoth Water in my server. Obviously, this is different per server. If we look at everywhere, though, Monarch's Bluffs, you can actually grab some for 2 gold a piece, which is absolutely crazy. You know, Azoth Water is one of those that is used for infused health potions. So let's take a look at infused health potions because that is the other really quality 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 potion that a lot of people are going to be grabbing two gold a piece this is unbelievable how cheap this is and there's 100 available by the way so we could get a ton of potions for two gold a piece just absolutely crazy how low this price has gone and it's definitely going to be very very nice for people like me that don't have 150 arcana so i can just come over here grab my potions but how are you making this gold you know what's the best way at this point because it looks like azoth water turning that into infused health potions isn't even a quality idea or you know quality thing to do at this point so what i would say is one of the best ways to make gold at the moment is still tier one resources and we've known that for a while but it's still the case if you look at iron ore it's still above 0.3 in windsward windsward being the cheapest place to grab it and if you look at everfall you could sell it in everfall for sure and you know i've seen it obviously selling off the rails here at 0.36 per if we look at or calcum by the way or calcum ore by the way is continually decreasing in price obviously as more and more people are level 60 and more and more people are able to mine it and more and more people need really those beginning tier one resources more than oracle alchemore you can see oracle alchemore right here at 2784 available for 0.69 and 0.7 and 0.77 so all of these higher buy orders are probably not going to be had anytime soon or sorry all these higher sell orders are not going to be had anytime soon these 0 0.69 0 0.7 that's about where or calcum ore is valued at right now so iron ore much easier to gather much more of it much more plentiful and uh, that's exactly why tier one resources are like i said definitely the things you want to be collecting for gold right now and if we look at wood as well right so wood is one of those things that uh, is going to continue to be needed for a lot of different reasons you know if you want to make higher tier lumber you want to continue on with that lumber to higher tier things you're going to need aged wood sure but green wood like i said is going to be the most valuable at 0.28 so all of these tier one resources are very very valuable still if we go to raw hide this is another one where we can kind of check and see the price raw hide is right around 0.28 as well so everything's right around 0.28 0.3 per and by the way this takes no time at all to actually go out there and gather this stuff and there's a ton of it by the way 2438 available at that 0.28 if we think of any other kind of tier one let's go to fiber i'm curious on fiber because i think this will be a little bit different yeah a little bit lower 0.22 still a very valuable price though i think you know for the most part tier one resources are going to be the quickest way for you guys that don't care about crafting that don't care about refining uh, you know, this is going to be your quickest way to make money. You know, just grab those tier one resources, sell them on the market. You could even combine them if you want. So if let's say you get iron ore and you want to combine them just to get your refining up a little bit, you definitely could. So steel ingots is going to be what you could combine them into. And you get about 200 or sorry, $2.50 or 250 gold uh, per. So that's actually not too bad as well. So, but like I said, guys, tier one resources are easily the best way to make money. One of the best ways to do so, guys, I'm not going to show you guys specific routes because that's always in other videos and we have tons of videos about that. But Everfall and Windsward are both great places because they have that hub where you can trade at the trading post and get your stuff sold very, very quickly. But it's also great because, like I said, there's tons of tier one resources here. One of the best places in the game is actually over here at Carltic Cave. You know why Carltic Cave is so, so good, in my opinion? Because, well, I'm a stone cutter, so I always go over there because it has tier one hide, it has tier one trees, it has boulders so I can get my stone cutting uh, or really mining as well as stone cutting up at the same time because obviously you need stones for that stone cutting. Tier one resources, whether it's stones as well, by the way, I bet stones on the market are actually probably a little bit cheaper than fiber, but not by too much. I should have checked up on stones, but like I said, guys, all tier one resources are going to continue to be valuable throughout the game because you need tier one to make tier five things. So this is not going to change anytime soon. And they have not upped the value on tier one's recently because of Aura Calcum being available. And uh, because of that, like I said, I think we're going to continue to see this kind of demand for tier one resources as more and more people are hitting level 60. They're going to be thinking, what else should I level? They're going to be grabbing a trade skill or a profession of their kind of enjoyment 
uh, you know, with all the money that they have. You can see here I have 27K gold and I've been buying a lot of things recently. I actually just got a basic luck trophy upgraded. Um, or I guess I should say I got a minor luck trophy upgraded to a basic luck trophy. You can see how many wolves, by the way, are over here. Um, so you have a wolf over here, wolf over here. And let's just take, take a look at how much uh, leather we get for each one. So 15. So if you think about that, right, and they're all right next to each other. By the way, if you're leveling up your gathering, this is also great. But most of us probably have that 200 skinning because of how quick it is. Uh, let's just get this last crawl tick woof and just take a look. So we did get 15 about every time. We got up to 48 there. We can continue to go, though. And uh, let's just say we get 100 of these. Obviously, you can you can do the math very quickly there and how fast you can actually get gold by doing this. And then you have, like I said, you have mature trees. That aged wood actually kind of sells well right now. But young trees are going to be what you want. You can get young trees very, very quickly. You get about 16 per as well. So if you just camp this crawl tick cave, you are going to have some great, great skinning. Uh, raw hide and great great times getting um, you know the wood as well the the regular green wood if you're worried about leveling your gathering though maybe you do want to spend more time uh, you know taking out these rocks for stone cutting or maybe you want to spend more time cutting trees for logging because you know like I said 200 skinning goes so so fast so you get 34 stone per actually stone which is going to be like I said another great thing to sell on the market just because stone cutters are going to need constantly constantly more and more and more and more stone as we get farther into the game, by the way, Tier 1 resources will never go out. Like I said, they're always going to be needed. Whether they're crafting the Tier 5 stuff or they're just crafting Tier 2, Tier 3 things, Tier 1 resources are always going to, like I said, be very, very valuable. So that's the point of today's video. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know, if you guys aren't much crafters or gatherers yourselves, you may not know this. You know, for everyone crafting and gathering, you probably already know that the bottleneck right now, because of the recent change into, you know, getting more refining resources like solvent, like uh, sand flux, and like sandpaper, the new bottleneck is definitely, definitely going to be tier one resources. And that's where they're going to go straight to the trading post. Some of these guys with more money, they're going to just straight up buy the resources. I am actually, uh, I am actually a victim of, uh, you know, these new prices of tier one resources continuing to just steady, um, not really steadily decline, but steadily, you know, stay right where they are. Because for the most part, they've been right around these prices for the last couple of days. And I think they're going to remain there. Like I said, I do want to look up stone, though, because stone is one I just went out and got. Um, so, 0 0.04. So, stone's not selling for too much. So, keep stone out of probably your rotation. But you got to remember as well, I think I, what, hit one rock and I got 34 of them. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. But for the most part, like I said, guys, tier one resource is going to be the fastest way to make money at this point in time. Obviously, you could always go up to the white zones and, you know, do some of this crazy stuff up here and get some good loot to sell on the exchange. But over time, that even is going to be lower and lower prices. You know, you can go up to buy weapons right now and you can buy a tier five sword or a tier five, um, you know, shield for even a tier five legendary shield right, right here. 468 gear score, so it's not a great shield but by any means, but it's 100 gold for a tier 5 legendary in general. So you can see the prices on everything is tanking. So a tier 5 blue rapier, not bad at all. Dexterity, intelligence with a socket, 20 gold. So you can see that you know weapons are not always going to be the best way to actually make money. It's all about, in my opinion, getting those tier 1 resources at the moment. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I really do appreciate the awesome support, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.